Check one two, check one two, am I in focus? That is a little bit better. What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being so patient with the uploads. I know it has been slow um, and that's why I'm kicking this video off with a crew accommodation tour. It's been one that I've been meaning to do for ages. Um, you would think after having a video go viral on Lad Bible and do almost a million views uh, on the last boat I was on to create a crew accommodation tour that I would have done it earlier, but I uh, felt a bit obliged to showcase the boat and our summer more so than just my accommodation and a few things like that. So now I'm reading the comments and I'm listening to you guys and I know that this is one that you wanted to see. I know I've already run the b-roll of what my cabin looks like for those immediate gratification folk. Um, that being said, I'm now going to dive into a little bit of a deeper dive into my cabin, my gear, and uh, kind of what it's like to live in the bow of a super yacht. Just before I continue, I'm bringing you some exciting news. At the end of this video is a little subscribe button for Yacht Aryans. There is a new YouTube channel launching for the yacht. This might be one of the only YouTube channels on the planet that is dedicated to a super yacht and will run forever, um, long past when I'm gone. So uh, please smash the subscribe button for Yacht Aryans. We have hopes and dreams to be the most socially followed super yacht in the world. And the only way we can do that is through you guys. So my cabin. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is probably the biggest cabin I'm ever going to be in on a super yacht in my life when it comes to crew accommodation, hands down. I don't really know how to give you an exact sense of scale of the room, but I can tell you that this is probably the only crew cabin you will ever walk in and probably find my girlfriend Rebecca doing yoga in because there's enough space for all kinds of activities here. And that is extremely rare. So when it comes to sizes, the, the accommodation throughout this entire boat when it comes to the crew accommodation is huge in comparison to any other boat I've ever been on. One, two, three, four, pretty much five meters wide. Um, and then from the door, one, two meters to my bed and an additional two meters, um, one and a half to the bed and the rest to a little bit of storage. So when it comes to storage, plenty on board, there is tons of storage on here, two shelves dedicated to mine, Rebecca got the bathroom uh, and all the cupboards that go there. Honestly, some of the storage drawers are not even full when it comes to my personal stuff, which is like usually impossible. Okay, let's talk a little bit about gear. Uh, the camera that you're looking through is a Sony a7 III. Um, it is my two go to cinematic camera as well as videos and photos, everything is shot off there when I can, um, especially for the guests. So, when it comes to slow motion or it comes to getting the zoom, I've got lenses for that um, to be able to get those crispy zoom shots. GoPros, we have five on board, three of maybe even six. We have completely brand new GoPro Hero 7s that we've never used. These might go to certain guests that want content and footage for them to use throughout the whole trip. And they just grab it, they do their thing, I set it up for them. At the end of the day, I grab the SD cards and I save all the footage off them so that it is ready for them to go the next day. You all know 
you all know what GoPros do. I'm really not gonna like continue into it for too long. I can't juggle, this is the best I got. The camera that everybody thinks is a drone is my Insta360. I actually brought one of these to the boat and we ended up getting a few more. Massive pull, um, really useful for just kind of holding while I'm doing something. And because it's got a lens on both sides, uh, it makes for some amazing 360 footage. You've seen it before, here's a couple of shots. Drones, we have two on board. For now, we have the Mavic 2 Zoom, which is unopened. It'll be used for this coming summer in the Caribbean. And then this one is um, just the Mavic Pro Platinum, um, the older version of um, the new Mavic Pro 2. So we use the drones, obviously, as much and whenever we can to just keep perspective of where we are. And uh, those are usually the shots in the video that um, the guests really want, is for that memory, of, uh, of where they were and what it looked like. It's often the stuff that ends up getting shown to their friends. Then my editing suite, everything is edited on Adobe Premiere. I know you guys have asked me that a lot. Um, so I do use Adobe Premiere. This computer and was fully specced uh, and bought by the boat for me to use purely for editing. Super grateful for it um, because it's just super quick. Nice big screen. And this is my place of editing when it comes to all the videos that you've seen prior and uh, all the guest footage, which of course I can't always show you. So. Um, that is provided by the boat. All right, short and sweet. I know not everybody on here is interested in the filmmaking stuff, but it is a part of my YouTube channel and it is a part of my life is creating content, my favorite, favorite thing to do. Moving on to the beds. Bottom bunk, always mine. Um, super cozy. When it comes to size, you can tell no matter where I lie, like my head's still half a foot away from the back here, but I cannot touch the end and that is an absolute dream when it comes to a boat that's generally bouncing if we're crossing the Atlantic or something like that. Nothing hits anywhere and it's pretty comfy and cozy. Storage over here, storage over here, and um, enough room for two people to watch a movie and then Bex generally goes upstairs and uh, stays in her cabin which is, uh, sorry, stays on her bunk which is pretty much exactly the same size. So, can't complain. Gotta make the bed again so it looks neat for the rest of the video. No, the cabin doesn't always look like this. Sometimes we're in a rush to get dressed or get ready or something and something ends up on the floor and, and you know what it's like. <gasps> um, into the bathroom. A sink, storage, uh, shower, massive as well. Like, honestly, I really don't think it's gonna get much bigger than this when it comes to shower. And uh, this is the biggest bathroom I've ever seen for crew as well. So I either just got lucky, but to be fair, all of these cabins are huge on this boat. My gear, my own personal gear, um, my Evolve skateboard, this one's actually the captain's, mine's coming in a few days, um, but same thing, Evolve skateboard. I use that everywhere to get around the city uh, that I'm in here in Barcelona, but also as a yacht crew member, you've got very little time in the spaces that you go, so to have a skateboard, especially an electric skateboard like that, I do like 15 kilometers, 16 kilometers sometimes of just exploring a city in an hour or two. And then I've seen like as much as I need to see before I can choose where I want to go to next. So by far my favorite exploration toy. I bought this surfboard here in Barcelona. Barcelona has very little surf, but when it does, it really makes me want to surf. So I bought a surfboard and uh, surf whenever there is time after work. So straight off to work, I usually run down here before the sun goes down at seven o'clock, get changed straight in the water and have a little surf. Here's a little example of that. Shoot me down soon 
so you've seen my cabin. Um, all the crew's accommodation is pretty much in this hallway except the captain. Captain is up near the bridge. The only other person that is like sort of slightly different accommodation to anybody else's is the chef's. Galley, down the stairs. The fridges and freezers. So here's the main fridge over here. Ah, so all the fridge and then into the freezer. Where's the, oh. Oh, hey, mate. Oh, hey. I'm hey, sorry to bother you. I just wanted you know, crew accommodation to her. Oh, yeah, well, this is it. You all good in here? Yeah, no, I'm all good, yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. All right, mate. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, it's freezing in here. Coffee machine, coffee machine to all of our bits and pieces in the drawers. Um, and then this is it. We can't really accommodate all 16 people in here. It's pretty tight, eh? That is uh, where the majority of the crew do breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then a couple people will be in here watching telly over there, but uh, all under upgrades at the moment. So this is usually our crew lounge where we can come and watch some series, lie in the bean bags, and kind of just hang out, but we almost never do, if I'm honest. So a little bit of a waste of space when it comes to it being like a crew lounge, um, but there are two more additional tables here if we have guests or contractors or anything like that that are working on board at the time. So while I have you, when are we doing a galley tour? Uh, next week. Next really? Week, next week, yeah. Next oh. week we have time. Next week. We'll see about that. <clears throat> yes, finally completed the crew accommodation tour. Um, a quick little insight into my life here on board you at Orient and uh, the more personal side of it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see the bridge tour that I have said and promised, please go and bother Captain Pilati on his Instagram account, link below. If you want to see a galley tour, please go bother uh, Chef Dean. His Instagram is linked down below. I'm dying to make these videos. I just want to show these guys how badly you would like to see them. So thanks so much for watching. Just a reminder, smash that subscribe button on Yacht Irons' account and kind of just hang around and wait just a little bit to show you what we're going to do on the boat's YouTube account to kind of make it the most socially followed yacht in the world. So very excited for that little link at the end coming up really soon. Thanks for watching guys and uh, starting more than likely next week um, there will be a lot more daily life videos being made um, even if they're two to three minutes or some of them will be eight to ten minutes but as much as I can create uh, next week I'm going to to just show you really more day-to-day -day living here in Barcelona on board a boat before leaving and departing for the Caribbean so some awesome stuff coming try to catch me howling at the moon Can you just tell everyone that's not actually your cabin? That's not really where I sleep. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs>